All right, our focus this half hour, the National Prosecuting Authority has a new leader. President Cyril Ramaphosa has appointed advocate Shamila Batohi as the country's new National Director of Public Prosecutions. She was one of five candidates who were shortlisted for the NPA top post last month. Eleven candidates were interviewed at the union buildings in Pretoria for the position. South Africa making history the first woman national director of public prosecutions appointed. After consideration of their recommendations, I have decided in terms of section 179 of the constitution to appoint advocate Shamila Batohi as the new national director of, prose of prosecutions. I accept with gratitude the opportunity to serve as National Director of Public Prosecutions. My only obligation is to serve the country with humility and with dedication to the best of my ability. Each one of us, no matter where we are, must be ready to sacrifice the necessary to fight the good fight. Our country needs us. President Cyril Ramaphosa appointed eight panelists led by Energy Minister Jeff Khadebe to conduct the interviews last month. President Ramaphosa described Advocate Batoy as fit and proper to lead the NPA. She was seconded to the investigation task unit established by President Nelson Mandela in 1995 and later served as the first regional head of the director of special prosecutions based in KwaZulu-Natal. For much of the last decade, Advocate Batoi has served as a senior legal advisor to the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. Batoi will replace the current acting NDPP, Dr. Silas Ramaite. The seasoned advocate delivered her maiden address minutes after being appointed and highlighted the milestone of appointing a woman to lead the NPA. Let us not forget that this is also a historic moment for women. It is a recognition by our president that the role of women in the pursuit of equality, justice and a fair society is important. The president and by proxy the people have bestowed a lot of confidence in me. The least I can do is to reciprocate. My experience as a career prosecutor has revealed the rule of law reigns supreme. The work of the NPA will be underpinned by strong governance principles and independence as guaranteed in the Constitution. It is a non-negotiable that the country has absolute confidence in the work of a credible NPA. I want to conclude by saying Thank you once again for this confidence in me. The NPA will serve the Constitution and the people of South Africa. As expected, Advocate Batoy's appointment was received with mixed reactions from the public domain, but most people expressing confidence and satisfaction that she is equal to the task. She will officially start her duties at the NPA on the 1st of February next year. Patricia Fasahi, SBC News in Pretoria. All right, let's get some reaction then.